Okay, today we're going to be looking at Q-Tractor. Q-Tractor is a program I've been playing with on and off for the past couple months. I haven't done any tutorials on it yet, though. It's a very useful both MIDI and audio track editor. Uh, in the past, a long time ago, I used to do tutorials on Rose Garden. I haven't used that program in a long time. I prefer Q-Tractor when it comes to MIDI editing. Um, Rose Garden does have some features that Q-Tractor doesn't, such as uh, writing out notes uh, as on um, music sheets. Uh, Q-Tractor doesn't have that feature. I never really use that feature myself anyway. I prefer the piano roll, which Q-Tractor does have. Also, it does both MIDI and audio track editing. Rose Garden did have an audio track editor, but I didn't uh, really play with it much. I wasn't that impressed with it a little bit. I did play with it. I preferred Ardor for my audio track editing. Um, and uh, Ardor is great as far as audio track editing. It is more advanced than Q-Tractor. Um, but it doesn't have any MIDI capabilities as of yet. The next release, Ardor 3, is supposedly going to have some, and which would be great, and I'm looking forward to a stable release of that. That being said, Q-Tractor does work great with Jack, and if you've watched my tutorials with different music programs in the past, um, a lot of programs, Ardor, Hydrogen, and Jackbeat, all will work and stay in sync using Jack for timing. So as long as you have the same beats per minute set and, um, and the timing set, when you click play in one, they will all play and stay in sync. Rose Garden, I was unable to get that, find that feature in there. So this is great if you still want to use Ardor for your audio track editing, but you want to do some MIDI stuff, you can have them both open, set Ardor to use Jack for timing. Q-Tractor does by default. And when you click click when you click play in one of them, they will all play and you can record and play all keeping in time. So, let's go ahead and get started. By default, it defaults to 120 beats per minute, which majority of music programs do. The only one I can think of off the top of my head that doesn't would be LMMS, starts at 140. Also, it is 4-4 timing by default. Let's go ahead and uh, add a track to this. Now you have options here to give the track a name. I'll just call this one Synth1. One. And you can make it a audio track or a MIDI track. I'm going to make it a MIDI track. You can see you have input output options. By default, Q-Tractor has one master input and one master output for MIDI's. Um, and we're going to work with those a little bit more in the future, but for now you just leave those as they are. You have some other options here we're not going to really play with, and you can also check, select the color for each track. Um, I'm just going to let it go with the default, and I'm going to click OK. Before I go any further, I'm going to click Save As, and I'm going to save my project into a folder I created called Tractor One, Q Tractor One. This way I can um, zip this up and upload it online so that you guys can uh, download it and play with it if you'd like. I'm going to also call the project Q-Tractor1. You can give it a description if you like. I'll click OK. And then it asks you confirming a file name in that folder. I'll click Save. So our project's all saved. Let's create a new clip here. Now here's our piano roll. If I click on the pianos over here, you notice there's, there's no noise, there's no sound. That's because Q-Tractor, once again, is a MIDI editor. It is not a synthesizer. Um, uh, although there's different synthesizers you can use, uh, they're plugged in. We're going to use ZYN Adds Effect because that's the synthesizer of my choice. Um, but we're going to play with other synthesizers with this program in the future. So I open up ZYN Adds Sub Effect. And uh, you can use Patchage, if you like, to hook stuff up. Um, but uh, Q-Tractor also has some built-in features for that. I am going to quickly make sure that I have ZYN Add Sub Effect Connect to Pulse Audio here so that you guys can hear the audio. Because I've already recorded this tutorial once before and then realized I didn't do that. And you guys couldn't hear anything coming out of ZYN Add Sub Effect. So that's hooked up there. That's a step you don't need to do uh, because... Uh, you're probably not recording like I am. Um, but we do need to hook Q-Tractor MIDI output into ZYN Add Sub Effects. So we're going to right click here, go to Output, and we're going to take Q-Tractor, ZYN Add Sub Effect, and connect the two. And you can also do this in Patchage, but since this is built in, we'll go ahead and click on that there. Now we can double click back on our little clip here, and now Hopefully I have everything hooked up that you guys are hearing that. And at this point, I can just start drawing out my notes.
Come back here and hit play. Great, let's click that, control C. It wants you to save that MIDI clip before you copy and paste it. We'll click save and we'll hit control V and paste in our little loop here. You can also shift and box select, control C, control V and paste a bunch like that. You can also click on one, control C and if you right click you can see uh, you can click this or press control shift V to paste repeat and I'll just do it five times, uh, we'll do it four times. I'll click OK and there seems to be a little glitch in the current release that I'm using of uh, Q-Tractor where it's not giving me the little uh, dotted lines of where I'm dropping this exactly. Not a huge deal, I'll just guess. I dropped it pretty good right there. Now we can go back to the beginning, think back a few times because you also have these little markers here. We'll press play. Once again, I really hope that you're hearing that and I don't have to record this tutorial again. Let's add a, another tr um, track, like so. We'll call it Synth 2. It's uh, going to be a MIDI track, okay. And we'll add a clip. And once again, you have no audio coming out. Now, they're both tracks are connected to our master MIDI out, which is connected to ZY and Add Sub Effect. But as you can see, track two by default, and you can change this, is channel two. Well, if we go to ZY and Add Sub Effect and look at channel two, you can see that it is not enabled. Well, instrument two, which defaults to track two, so or channel two. So we'll enable that, and we'll also change the instrument. Let's do a um, soft ah. Let's see how that sounds sounds good to me let's go ahead and use that we'll start down here no we'll start and we'll just draw out like so Now we'll come back here, and as you can see, it's there, we'll press play. Okay, we'll take that, we'll copy it, we'll want us to save it. Paste that in there. Paste that in there. And although I'm liking this, I don't like the sound of our default instrument on track one. So I'm going to go to ZY and add some effect. I'll just click on panel window here and um, I'll click on the instrument there. I'm going to change that to maybe uh, EO. Let's see how that sounds. Kind of like that, but it's still kind of loud, so I'll lower the volume on that. Okay, that's great. So we've played with some MIDI files. Let's save this real quick. and. Okay, at this point, we're going to import uh, a pre-recorded audio track I created, a drum track I created in Hydrogen. It is, um, you can get Q-Tractor to work along with Hydrogen, but I just want to show you how to import an audio file. So I just created this little drum beat and exported it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit track, export, or I'm sorry, import, audio, and it is right here, oh no, it's drums wave, open, now, by default, let's see here, um, not outputs, inputs, you can see the Q Tractor, uh, disconnect, disconnect, hooks up your microphone as an audio input by default. I don't know if you guys heard that, but in my headphones I was getting my voice with a little bit of lag and it was throwing me off. I can't talk when I'm doing that. So uh, you may want to disconnect that so you don't get any feedback unless you are going to be doing recording from your microphone. Let me go ahead and press play now.
me save that real quick. Now, um, when I press play, I heard the drums right away. I didn't have the output hook to pulse audio, which is what I'm recording the video with. So you guys may have not heard the audio until I clicked on that. Um, but that's, once again, just a me recording option. Um, since you guys, uh, unless you guys are doing screen captures like I am, you probably wouldn't have had that issue. You would have heard it right away, just as I did. Um, so once again, audio gets a little more confusing the more connections you have. And since I'm recording, I'm trying to record the audio output as well as listen to it. And that adds a few extra steps, so just ignore those. But as you can see, I will save this project, upload it online, it will be zipped up into a little package, and you guys can play with it as well. And I just hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K. There should be links in the description. And I'll have a lot more on Q-Tractor in the coming weeks, so stick around on Music Mondays. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.